Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Cobra Park Farm. Last time we were harvesting canola, and I think we were not quite done. And it looks like... Ah, yes. Kenworth was seeding on field 17, and I was harvesting on 37 here, so... I'll finish harvesting that and we'll see what else there is to do. Field 1 needs to be harvested and 13 needs to be harvested. Oh yeah, and beets need to be sold. Lots to be done. Cool. Uh, prices and soybean all need to be sold. Lots and lots to do. Well, let's jump into that combine and we'll finish harvesting that field and go from there. Hey VRF, welcome to the stream. You're up a little earlier than I expected you to be. I thought I was going to be starting too early for you. Did get some good news, I am working tomorrow. I'm going to do a couple of chip runs, so it'll be, it'll be day trips. I'll be coming home overnight. Having said that, it's going to be go home, sleep, and then go right back to work. But nonetheless, I'll be doing a couple of day trips, make some money while my truck's getting repaired. I called the repair shop, and they have to, they're waiting for parts for the clutch. So it might be another couple of days before I get my truck back. Uh, VRF says he's just waking up and he's still in bed watching on his phone. <laughs> That's dedication. Anybody ask what it takes to be a moderator? That's what it takes to be a moderator on this channel. Farmer Joe says if that's all it takes, she's going back to bed. Let's <laughs> put that pipe out. We're almost full. This field won't take long to harvest, and then uh, we'll see what we do next. So many jobs to be done here. Seeing that we have money up on that uh, top right corner, I would say we've paid our loans off. Let's take a quick look. We have. That is good. That is good. So likely we'll buy some more fields if we can sell some of this stuff. There we go. I'm like, it's got to be full here at any time. Oh, guys, I got to take that phone call. One second.
Alright, sorry about that guys, that was just work calling, uh, plans have changed again. Um, I hadn't told you guys when I was working tomorrow, tomorrow I was going to be working evening shift and unfortunately a different truck driver, his mother literally just passed away, they just found out the news, they were expecting it, but um, now I'm going to be running his truck the next couple of days, so I'm working tomorrow morning. Bad news for him. It wasn't unexpected news for him, but nonetheless, I'm now running an early shift tomorrow. I'm okay with that. Better than working the night shift. I was good with either. A job's a job, but that's okay. I'll rather take the morning shift. And I'll be running out of Oliver. That's what, hour south of us? 45 minutes south of us? Yeah. So, yeah. So Vera, if you guys have a week off of school in the fall, I have never heard of that. That is something I have never heard of. Yeah guys, sorry for the mute and the frozen screen there for a second. I I wasn't about to end the stream. Well, if work had no, even if work had told me come to work right now. I would have said absolutely not because uh, I would be too tired to drive a truck all night. Would not be a safe thing to do. And that's something they would never tell you to do. They might come and ask and then you say, hey, I've been awake since so and so. And they go, okay, never mind, don't worry about it. Really good company that way. Okay, let's see. Get this field done. And then, um, excuse me. <coughs> Muted there just in time. Get this field done. And then we'll see either sell beets or do some seeding, depending on if anyone else joins. So you guys have a week off for Halloween. That's crazy. I've never heard of that before. I, I, North America, I've never... There's no schools that take off a week for Halloween. It's a brilliant idea, but... <laughs> Halloween, kids all free. Oh boy, the trouble you guys get into. Halloween is very different in different cultures though too. But that's interesting. I've learned something new. Oh, there's Farmer Joe. And Farmer Joe can come with me on trucking now. We've got permission for the next month that she'll be riding along. She won't be riding along tomorrow. Um, we're waiting for a new GPS in the mail and that's a high priority. And then after that she'll be riding along and hopefully we do a bunch more videos. And then you guys have two weeks off for Christmas and New Year's. I think that's pretty much what they have here too. Yeah, two weeks off for Christmas and New Year's, and then uh, that's uh, really in. I think in Canada, you have two weeks off around Christmas, New Year's, and then two weeks off spring break. That's it. And then summer holidays, obviously, two months off in the summer. So, how long do you guys have off in the summer? Is Farmer Joe? Oh yeah, I see a, I I see a wheel loader moving over there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a wheel loader moving over there.
Uh, no, they're not expecting it to be super early because they're gonna be starting office. So it'll be, it'll be around yeah, eight, eight, eight thirty, that my run will be. So in the morning, I'll run to my truck, get the safety gear out of my truck, and yeah, that'll that'll work out fine. Three months summer. What? Okay, we go to school a lot longer than you guys do. No wonder you guys have so much homework. You guys have to cram all that school into a shorter period of time. We have two months off in the summer and then two weeks for Christmas and one week in sp or two weeks in spring break. Some some schools have one week and some have two weeks. And how how many in the U.S. What did you have? Don't remember. How many weeks of spring break? In Manitoba, it was one week. I hear some schools here have two weeks. Okay, I think the one more pass here and this field will be done. Don't see Farmer Joe there anymore, so... Oh, never mind, money's coming in, so she's selling. Uh, 19.5 grand. Cool. Guess it's a bit of a triangular field. A little bit wider one end than the other. I think it should all fit in this hopper and then see. I think our storage is full for canola, but we'll see where the best place to sell it is then. After Christmas, you guys have a week off. as in like later on in the year. I know we have what we call spring break and it's either one one or two weeks depending on the school. There we go. So you mean like in February you have another week off? Unfold that header. Let's lower it, drop it, fold up the combine. Either way, you guys get a lot more days off from school than we do in North America. So count your blessings. Oh, yeah, and your school hours. What time of day do your school start and what time does school end? 
we our school what starts at nine and went to three thirty. That's the school I went. To. It was nine a.m. to three thirty. School here I think is a little different in BC. I think it's like eight eight to two forty five or eight fifteen to two forty five weird hours. <coughs> Yeah, Mr. Farmer, a late evening stream. park this harvester and then see what I'll do with uh, canola and if Farmer Joe is selling beets I think I'll jump in the cedar unless somebody else jumps on just because that field has now been partially seeded for a long time Farmer Joe's on field 39. She took a wrong turn. Uh, a little humorous. Uh, Mr. Farmer says your school is 8:30 to 2:30. Six hours in school. Nine to fifteen hundred is uh, three. Yeah, nine to three. So that's that makes sense. Nine nine a.m. to three p.m. These headers are kind of scattered everywhere, aren't they? So you're not really spending that much longer, and you're not spending longer in school than we are. You just have a lot less, or you have a lot more weeks off. Um, our tipper. Uh, canola. Uh, we have none in storage, so we'll put this in storage. What's that? Um, not anymore. It, it's still going back up, but we'll put it in storage for now. I guess if we don't need the tipper, the price is going up fast in the Wednesday stores, so we could just bring it there and And wool is a really good price. Where are other tippers? Uh. Hey, Mr. Farmer. Farmer Joe says hi, too. Today's a good day because there's going to be two people in class, as in two teachers or two guests or two classmates. Two classmates in school. So you have that small of a school? That's crazy. Never heard of that either. So, 
So VRF, what you're saying is in your grade, there's only two students? I'm going to just park this to the side, see if we can find, so... Oh, only today there's only two students, so it's a small class today. Um, let's see if we can find the other tippers. Okay, there's that tipper, but we're looking for the other one. Oh, right there. Um, my truck didn't break down at all this time, Mr. Farmer. Um, it was just going into the shop for its yearly uh, safety inspection. <clears throat> and uh, they found uh, some clutch problems with it, so they tore it apart and fixed it. Might as well fix it right away when they find the problem, right? S instead of it breaking down in the middle of nowhere. So they're just waiting parts for that. I don't remember what I was going to do here. Um, soybean. <coughs> soybean. They also found a crack in the um, uh, muffler pipe. So they uh, fixed that right away too. <coughs> the front two tires got replaced. And they're replacing two of the deep cycle batteries. Is that all we have for soybean? I guess so. Well, I'll go sell it to biogas. I'm not sure what else they all found on it, but <clears throat> uh, most of your class is going to a sporting event. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Farmer, they're saying they're waiting for parts. It might be a couple of days, so. I just hope I have it by next Monday. I have uh, at least uh, two runs now scheduled for <coughs> driving somebody else's truck tomorrow and the day after. Um, possibly three. And uh, hopefully I get my truck back and I can go back to my runs. I like highway much better. These are uh, just in a day cab. So, should be interesting. Yeah, 10 grand for that little bit of soybean. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I want to go on the same track through this field so that I definitely got leg there. Go on the same track so I don't destroy too much of that grass so we can get more silage out of that. And you're going to a pumpkin patch tomorrow, Mr. Farmer. Um, they say because of the drought, the pumpkins are in much worse shape this year than they have been in a long time so there's no big big pumpkins. Pumpkins are going to be expensive this year. wanted to come on there's it okay that'll be good enough whoa <laughs> see a wall <laughs> um, cheap oh we have wool here 
And Farmer Joe said wool at a great demand. Holy smokes, a really good price. Okay. Uh, tractor. Where's... Lift up that. Uh, drop that off there. Which was the pallet fork? Right there. Okay. Let's try to get to that. Okay, there's the pallet fork. I think what we're going to have to do is buy a trailer for the cheap, <coughs> or for the wool, I mean. That way we don't have to make multiple runs. No, I don't think so. I think... Yes. But I think if I pick up this inside one, it will... Uh, Continue filling the, the the newer one on the outside. Let go. There we go. Yeah. Definitely have to go long distance with it. So I think as we get more sheep, I think it'd be a good idea to have just a flat deck trailer, even just a small one. Take a quick look here at trailers. Where are trailers? It's low loaders. Come on, there's got to be like flat deck trailers. Those are tippers. Fertilizer, manure spreader. Maybe they are in here. Nope, that's not it. Where the heck would be just a flat deck trailer? Yeah, those are all tippers. Auger wagon, those are, yeah. Sure, it's not under loading wagons. Nope. So there's the bailing trailer. That would work. And it's locked up. Really? We don't just have like a flatbed trailer? Such a thing does not exist? Huh. I know I have mods for flatbed trailer. I might just have to use one of those mods. Hmm. Interesting. You should be able to hear me. Audio input capture. Yeah. You should be able to hear me. Maybe I was just being quiet. Okay. Let's uh, drive this down. To Wednesday stores? Yes. That's where wool is. Yep. We'll sell this and then we'll call it an episode.
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that is so bad. So very bad. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, this is unconventional. Unconventional. Uh, not good. <laughs> The episode has not ended. This is still part of our regularly scheduled episode. So, uh, we have had a crash at the end of our episode. I should have ended our episode before this, but I did not. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty uh, epic uh, fail there. Be careful. Uh, Alright, VRF, enjoy uh, your breakfast. Oh no, oh no. What? Where'd it go? Okay. Oh. Uh. All right, sorry traffic. Oh, traffic, you have to behave a little more than that. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Farmer, uh, VRF is in Lithuania, which means it's breakfast for him. Just just because we're from British Columbia doesn't mean the rest of the world is. Okay, we're going to get this wool delivered. Okay, here we go. Delivery of wool has been made. Let's see how much money that makes us. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. We do a show every Saturday, Sunday when we, as much as we possibly can. Uh, Ten grand for that. Once get a well, it's a pretty good price, 10 grand. I'll take that. We'll see you guys most likely on Saturday. If because I didn't work today, if all of a sudden they ask me to work Saturday, I'm gonna say yes. So if I'm not on Saturday, that is why. Um, I'll see you guys on the weekend. Have a great day.